Gary earlier and I said you know it's like being pregnant and then all of a sudden the baby's coming and the baby's here so um, about a year and a half ago I came to hear my dear friend Lauren White perform on this very stage at the Gap. and uh, she had uh, invited Gary to do a few a few numbers and uh, he was great so afterward I went up to him and introduced myself and I said God you seem great if you ever want to make a CD I'd love to produce it. I, I mean, you know, I don't know. I just said it. And he grabbed my hand and said, are you seriously? So I guess I was serious, and that started it. And uh, we began our moonlight journey, and uh, it's been incredible. We got these stellar musicians to perform, and the masterful genius of Jameson Walker, his arrangements. Yes, vocals by Paulette Lee Williams and Gail Pettis, who you're going to get to hear tonight. And uh, then the whipped cream on the already delicious cake was Terry Trotter, who came and uh, did magic. So, and he's here tonight too, so you'll get to hear him. Uh, anyway, I want, <laughs> this has been such an amazing uh, project. And I've gotten to know Gary so well, and I just love him, and he's my friend. And I know the importance and the significance of this project for him, and it's been an honor to be part of it. And I know you're going to love it. So thanks so much for coming, and uh, enjoy.
got a good reason for taking the easy way out. Got a good reason for taking the easy way out now. She was a day tripper, a one way ticket, yeah. It took me so long to find out, but I found out. But in the dream, a big teaser She took me half the way there She is a big teaser Yeah, she took me half the way there now She was a day tripper A one-way ticket, yeah It took me so long to find out And I found out gave me a beautiful little carnation today. Isn't that nice? But I bent it a little bit. <laughs> Kathy Garcia. Aww. Anyway, thank you. Yes, as Barbara said, I, I think I heard most of what she said over there. But uh, yeah, it all started right here. Right here. Singing this exact song. Day Tripper. So, of course, it had to be on our CD. Anyway, um, Moonlight. Uh, if you get my CD, there'll be a metaphoric reason as to why I, I chose that. So you'll have to buy the CD to figure that out. <laughs> but uh, there were, you know, other titles that I was going for. Mark Saltarelli was going to do a promo of me, and Barbara and I still didn't have a title for this song. And I mean, we'd gone over everything. Moonlight was always there, but we kept going elsewhere. What else? And then Jameson and Terry got on board. And I went, I got the title. I got the title. Hot to Trotter. <laughs> yeah, baby. And it didn't go over very well. I was the only one who went for it, so. Right? Yeah, it wasn't gonna work, yeah. But anyway, uh, we did end up with Moonlight. And it does, it does reflect the warmer side of my personality and 
and the way I approach my music. So anyway, uh, I'd like to introduce the band at this time. I want you to know their names right from the start. And first of all, we have my pianist, my music arranger, who has felt my voice from the beginning of this project. Uh, and uh, I, I couldn't have asked for anybody better. Uh, he's my lord and master, <laughs> Jameson Trotter. <laughs> And now I'm going to kid around with this next one, my bass player here. I'm going to embarrass you. But anyway, um, I've known Dave for quite a while now. We've played together. I first met him, uh, I saw him perform uh, one of Mark Winkler's shows, and I just thought he was fabulous. So um, we've worked together a couple of times, and I thought, you know, I don't have a picture of him uh, alone, so I decided to take a picture of just him and me, and it was here at uh, uh, Vitello's of a show that he did. And I put it on Facebook because I put everything on Facebook. <laughs> and I got a response. It was like, hey, who is this guy? <laughs> I mean, it totally ignored me, right? Like, hey, who is this guy? Who is this guy? And it wasn't just the women asking. <laughs> anyway, one of them gave him a nickname. And I won't tell you if it was a, a man or a woman. <laughs> But I'd like to introduce him now as Gabe the Babe Davis. <laughs> uh, we had two drummers uh, for our CD. Uh, Christian Newman, who plays for uh, Kurt Elling, and he could only do one of the, the studio days that uh, we had planned of the two. And, uh, uh, Barbara and Judy and Alan Wexler and I went to the Blue Whale one night and caught this gentleman playing, uh, it was, he was part of the Alan Pasqua trio. He was just amazing. And so when uh, Christian couldn't do the second one, I immediately thought of this guy. And he's been terrific all the way through. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Malloy. <laughs> we also had the privilege of two guitar players. And uh, it was uh, both Larry Coombs and uh, Pat Kelly. And Barbara and I were going to go, I know, who should we, you know, who should we use? And we decided to use both. Why not? And tonight we got Pat Kelly. <laughs> Bob Shepard uh, played the uh, saxon flute on the CD. And uh, he's in Italy at this time. So the only gentleman who hasn't, uh, who had, hasn't been on the CD is this gentleman here, and Jameson referred to him, uh, him to me right away, and I am so glad that we did. Rehearsal was fantastic. Even though I had vodka martinis, you still sounded good. <laughs> right? Better. Better. Yeah. Better. So, yeah, anyway, Tom Lure, ladies and gentlemen. So let's move on. Let's move on. Enough of my talking. The second song is very important to me. Uh, I first heard Dinah Washington do it uh, as a beautiful ballad touched me deeply, so much that uh, Reese and I, when we uh, became domestic partners and had a, a civil ceremony, uh, that was one of the songs that uh, ushered us down the aisle together. So I'd like to dedicate this to him. going to be a Jerry Lewis moment. <laughs> we aren't doing this as a ballad. I already had enough ballads. So uh, Terry Trotter suggested this as a swing. So I kind of compromised, you see. Heaven sends a song through its doors Just as if it seems to know I'm exclusively yours 
knowing this I feel but one way you will understand it too in these words that I say I'll close my eyes to everyone but you and when I do I'll see you standing there I'll lock my heart to any other caress mm, I'll never say yes to a new love affair don't you know don't you know that I'll close my eyes to everything each lovely day and through the years of these moments when we are far apart don't you know I'll close my eyes but I'll see you with my heart I'll see you with my heart mm, my heart I'll see you deep in my heart
Thank you. Okay, let's take it out of this one. All right. This next song is a medley and a, and a happy coincidence. Um, these two songs have exactly the same musical structure to them. So while the band's playing a classic Miles Davis bebop tune, I'm going to sing one of the most popular songs from Tin Pan Alley. And we put the songs together, like I said, and we've come up with the title, and I've called it Dig Georgia Brown. Georgia Brown. They all sigh and want to die for sweet Georgia Brown. I'll tell you just why. You know I don't lie. Not much. It's been said she knocks her dead when she lands in town. That she came white. It's a shame how she's pulling down. Fellas, that she can't get up. Fellas, that she ain't met. Who's that Mr. Tate's sister? Hey, Georgia Brown. Thank you for coming. 
Dig Georgia Brown. And now at this time, I'm going to mention a few names. Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, Chet Baker, Lena Horne, Celine Dion, Natalie Cole, and somebody I just learned during rehearsal, Dusty Springfield. These are just a few people that this wonderful pianist has played for, either in the studio or on stage. Uh, and now my name's added. It'll be in smaller print. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, what a pleasure to have this gentleman as a part of my CD and for him to, to come out here tonight to uh, play the numbers uh, that he uh, graced on my CD. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Terry Trotter. <laughs> This first song, I first met Terry at his home. It almost felt like I was auditioning <laughs> for him. You know, it, it just felt that way. And uh, we needed to feel each other out, you know. And um, he asked me, so what songs are you interested in, in doing? And I said, well, Irving Berlin's What'll I Do? And he said, well, it's one of my favorite songs. It was my mother's favorite song, too. And I said, great, because I have got this kick-ass version of it <laughs> that I want you to hear. It's on YouTube. I want you to hear it. And, and he greedy smiled. And, and uh, so he listened to it. And uh, when he was finished, he was very polite. And he says, well, you know, good luck. That's going to be great. <laughs> but I'm not going to be playing on it. <laughs> you said that, you know. But, you know, he says, so get over here. He takes, takes me to the piano. I'm, I'm adding dramatic license. He wasn't like that. He was more polite than that. But he said, come on over here. And he started playing What'll I Do, as Irving Berlin intended it. And I started, I joined in about 12 bars later. And um, by the time we finished, Barbara was there, Jameson was there, and I was there. And we lost it. It was just beautiful. So guess who won that? <laughs> he wouldn't be here tonight if we'd done it, done it any other way. So this is Irving Berlin's uh, What'll I Do As He Intended It. What'll I do when I am wondering who is kissing you? What'll I do? What'll I do?
with only dreams dreams of you that won't come true what a lie pulled a Lorena Morrow. <laughs> Lorena. <laughs> Lorena gets emotional. And I always say if I start mm, losing it just a little bit, I pull out a Lorena Morrow. Anyway, thank you. That was beautiful. Our second song, uh, Terry introduced me to it, and it is now the title song uh, of the CD. It's called Moonlight. John Williams wrote the music, and Alan and Marilyn Bergman wrote the lyrics, these gorgeous lyrics. And it's the end of a, uh, uh, it's played at the end credits of um, Sabrina, uh, the remake uh, with Harrison Ford. Sting sings it at the very end. And he, at his house that day, he introduced that song to me and I fell in love with it right away. So thank you. your breath away, sighs and whispers, quiet laughter in the air, unspoken invitations everywhere, in the moonlight, all the words you say, make it relatively easy to be swept
Beautiful song. It's just fell in love with it right away. This last song that Terry plays on it was an unlikely contender. Um, Glenn Campbell. I went. This just is not working. This just doesn't work. And then Barbara Brighton uh, came up uh, with a CD of uh, a beautiful piano solo of this song, and I just fell in love with it. Terry jumped on it and said, let's do it. Let's do it. And uh, Jimmy Webb wrote this song specifically for uh, Glenn. It was a crossover hit. I think it's one of Glenn's most beautiful songs. And um, along with that, I, I do have to say, um, my husband, Reese, uh, he came from a very strict um, religious family back in Tennessee in Nashville. And uh, he was only allowed to listen to certain types of music. The Mormon Tabernacle Choir and Glenn Campbell. So at least there's one song he can listen to tonight. Searching in the sun for another overload. I hear you singing in the wire. I can hear you. Wichita lineman 
Stand the strain, and I need you more, more than want you, and I want you for all time, and the Wichita. Mr. Terry Trotter. Thank you very much. Thank you. One of my favorites on the CD. Uh, this next song is actually from my first CD, which was done a long time ago, about 10 years ago, before a lot of stuff happened. But I got into jazz rather late, uh, around 2003. And uh, so I, put, uh, I produced this uh, first CD along with my husband. Uh, we went to Nolan Shaheed's studio. Yes, my buddy Nolan, my manatizer. And uh, <laughs> it's an inside joke. I'm sorry. I should explain myself. Should I explain it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should. Okay. Nolan and I, uh, um, I, I love women's songs. There was a lot of women's songs that, you know, weren't, the lyrics were just weren't right for men. And uh, he said, no, no, that's not true. All you've got to do is manatize it. <laughs> So every time I see him, I say, I am manatizing this song. <laughs> I don't care who sings it. I did Peggy Lee's Why Don't You Do Right, and I manatized it. <laughs> it works, it works. It's on that CD, too. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Dave Ferris was on piano, Chris Colangelo was on bass, and Roy McCurdy was on uh, the drums. So, um, the, and the reason I bring this up is because uh, my CDs will be uh, available. Uh, uh, my CD, Moonlight, will be available uh, in the back with Barbara Thiametta helping me out after the show. But I'd like to also add, as a bonus, uh, my first CD, Up Jump Spring, that I hope you'll, you'll enjoy. So, you'll be getting two for the price point. Anyway, this next song. I'm taking the title song. It's called Up Jump Spring, Freddie Hubbard tune. Mm -hmm. I was out promenading and high hopes were fading that dreams ever really come true. When up jumped springtime I got a look at you all at once it was heady your gaze long and steady made sounds of the patter grow dim cause I uh, jumped springtime and love came on in now my heart wants to cheer life's sweet promise is here and life is a funny thing now we're sweethearts together like birds of a feather our love is as free as the wind cause i jumped up jump springtime and love came on in i was out promenading and high hopes were fading the dreams ever really come true when i jumped up jump springtime and love I took a look at you All at once it was heady Your gaze long and steady Made sounds of the patter grow dim Cause I've jumped I've jumped springtime And love came on in Now my heart wants to cheer Life's sweet promise is here And life is a funny thing Now we're sweethearts together Like birds of a feather Our love is as free as Jump springtime. So, oh, hello, my Life's sweet promise is here, and life is a funny thing. Now we're sweethearts together like birds of a feather. Our love is as free as the wind. Cause I jump, up jump springtime. So hello, my friend. I grew up in the 60s. It tells you how old I am. I um, grew up with the Beatles. I mean, my entire teen years were the Beatles and Motown. 
and both are represented on my CD. You've already heard the Beatles. This next tune is actually a Motown, but my wonderful arranger turned this song around. I mean, it was like, whoa! I was going for this kind of funky thing. It's a Supremes number. And um, I was going for a kind of a funky, huh? <laughs> hey, you got me on that one. <laughs> well, there wasn't much you have to manatize on that one, you know. So actually, I just kind of looked like I'm manatized. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, it was, um, uh, he just turned this song around, and it's a beautiful, it's done usually up, the song, uh, My World is Empty Without You. Yeah? And it's usually done up. My world is empty. Well, this guy made it this jazz elegy of, of uh, loss and pain. It just blew me, uh, Barbara and I just blew us away. So I credit uh, Jameson a lot for the beauty of this song. Okay? My world is empty without you. My world is empty without you, babe. And as I go my way alone, I find it hard for me, so very hard to carry on. I need your strength. I need your tender touch. I need the love, my dear, that I miss so much. My world is empty without you, babe. Without you, my world is empty. Without you, babe. From this old world, I try to hide. From this loneliness, there is no hiding place. Inside this cold and empty house I dwell, in darkness with memories that I know so well. Darkness falls 
spirit finds me all alone with, with these four walls. My world is empty without you, babe. My world is empty without you. My world is empty. And I asked for it funky. <laughs> Didn't turn out that way, and I'm so glad. At this time, I, this evening would not be complete uh, without this next guest. Um, I dedicated the CD partly to him. Uh, I've been with him for 15 years. Uh, he's been the best accompanist I could ask for. Uh, Mr. Dave Ferris. <laughs> what else can I say? We're going to do a couple of tunes that are not on the CD. This is a Miles Davis tune.
next song, uh, Dave and I get together once a month to either work on new music, polish up something that, that I'm going to be performing or something like that. We've been doing that forever. And uh, a lot of people have joined me uh, over those times for these wonderful monthly sessions. And anyway, I was working on a new song. I said, let's do Darn That Dream. I've never done that song. Uh, Jimmy Van Heusen soon. Eddie, Eddie DeLang, I think, wrote the, wrote the lyrics. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I knew <laughs> some yeah, They'd catch me if I didn't get it right. Um, so I thought, um, God, this arrangement he put together was just beautiful. I said, let's, let's just do this. He happened to have arrangement, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you wouldn't be here tonight if I wasn't doing it. Hey. My wallet's right here. Anyway. So, let's do I'd like to do that tune for you right now. I think I know the lyrics. Darn that dream. I dream each night. You say you love me, then you hold me tight. But when I awake, you're out of sight. Oh, darling, 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 dream. Darn me high above the moonlit skies then I tumble out of paradise oh darn that dream darn that one Mind of mine, you can't understand that you don't care just to change the mood I'm in. I've welcomed this old nightmare. Blessed to without that dream, I never would have you. But it haunts me, I 
that won't come true Oh don't Darn that one shrine, mind of mine, it can't understand that you don't care, just to change the mood I'm in, I welcome Without that dream, I never would have you. But it haunts me. Dave Ferris. You know, the piano, I've had three wonderful pianists tonight. The piano meant a lot to me when I was young. My mom was a piano teacher, and I would be playing with my toys up in the attic. My brothers will attest to this. Uh, and, uh, but all Saturday, we had to stay up in the attic or go outside because mom was teaching the piano, and I'd be hearing the voice lessons or piano lessons throughout. So. The piano means a lot to me, so I had a, a trio of just wonderful pianists. Uh, thank you all. A request from the producer? Oh, okay. It is? I'm just having the greatest time. Okay. Um... Well, I'm doing this next song. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but thank you. <laughs> She's always had a rain on me, a tight rain on me. <laughs> we started later. <laughs> okay, this is a Dusty Springfield number. Ready? One, two, a one, two, three, and... Stop chatting more and just do the songs. That help? Just a little loving early in the morning beats a cup of coffee for starting off the day. Just a little loving when the world is young. They're coming your way mm, Just a little loving Early in the morning Puts you in a good place To face the new day sun Nothing gets you going Get you soaring like a little bit of loving from some loving someone. This old world, it wouldn't be half as sad, it wouldn't be half as glad if each and everybody hand in To kind of see them through Nothing turns the day on Really gets it dawn And like a little bit of loving From some loving someone Just like you Some loving
Thank you. That's usually done in three-quarter time, right? But I decided to do it bossa nova. Did I manitize it? If I, did I manitize it? I don't know. My next guest uh, came all the way from Seattle to be here tonight for me. She's on my CD, uh, a duet, a Kenny Rankin tune. And uh, I am thrilled because she just let me know yesterday that she was going to make it because of schedule problems. And she was able to do it. She flew in. I picked her up at the airport, Burbank Airport, at 2.30 today. We didn't have time to rehearse until we got here. And it's a thrill. It's just an, a, a thrill to have her here. Gail Pettis. <laughs> some lights for tomorrow.
good chance of finding romance when two hearts collide. And I know that's just how it happened when Romeo met Juliet. Somewhere I read that Romeo said, pardon me. Gail Pettis, everybody. And now back to Seattle with you. How many people would fly all the way to Seattle to see you? Okay, you wanna go past this next song then and we'll move on. It is getting late. Uh, this next song that I'd like to do is the last song of the evening. Uh, come on, see Barbara what you did? This is one of my favorite, uh, con more contemporary uh, musicians is Sting. And uh, he just transcends all genres as far as I'm concerned. He can do anything. And um, one of my favorite um, CDs of his is Ten Summoner's Tales. And there's like, ah, you come home with me tonight. <laughs> Instant friend. Um, uh, there was about three or four different songs that I had Barbara listen to, and we finally agreed on this one. And uh, Paulette McWilliams, the wonderful Paulette McWilliams, uh, created all the background vocals. Obviously, I won't be doing those tonight. <laughs> but uh, she did all the voices and the arranging on this. And uh, on the CD, it's just incredible. And I will do it as much justice as I can. Turned on the weather, man, just after the news I needed. Sweet rain to wash away my blues. Looked at the charts, but he looked in vain. Heavy cloud, but no rain. Back in time with Louis XB1. At the court of the people, he was number one. He'd be the bluest blood they'd ever seen. And the king said hi to the guillotine. The royal astrologer was run out of breath. He thought that maybe the rain would postpone his death. He looked at the sky, but he looked in vain. Heavy cloud, but no rain.
day Please, please, please rain today I asked my baby to be some way She said she's saving her cloud but no The band, one more time. Jameson Trotter on piano. Dave Davis on bass. Connor Malloy on drums. Pat Kelly on guitar. Tom Lure, sax and flute. I'd like to thank my guests, Terry Trotter, Dave Ferris, and Gail Pettis. I'd like to thank Vitellos. I'd like to thank Nick on sound, Mark Saltarelli on video. Uh, let's see, who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? There are a couple of people, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Well, that's what you get for shortening the show. Yeah, yeah, Barbara Brighton. No, believe me, I call Barbara my human moonlight. She, it was her vision and her faith in me when I didn't, wasn't sure, quite happy. Uh, she brought this to fruition and, and to be a friend as well is, is just amazing. There are a couple people I'd like to, to also acknowledge that are here. Christopher Reardon, an actor of mine who's uh, a regular on Superstore right now. <laughs> Christopher, he's in the chandelier section right there. Thank you very much. You get to take the chandelier with you, you know. It goes, yeah, and the chairs, the soft chairs. Thank you, Christopher. Christopher was in more Elvis Presley movies than anybody, including my favorite, Las, uh, Viva Las Vegas. Uh, he danced uh, uh, with uh, Barry Chase, Fred Astaire's um, dance partner. Uh, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Another actor who is, uh, 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 I did a, uh, I, I write for um, film magazines, and he's a, a subject that I wrote on. Uh, he's uh, uh, the golden boy of radio. He was uh, just a prodigy back there. Mr. Tommy Cook. Is Tommy there? Did Tommy make it? There he is, Tommy Cook, right there. A wonderful actor. And the third one, uh, the third one I'd like to acknowledge uh, was also a subject uh, of, of my magazine. And uh, she was a child star. She um, uh, was in a, a, a Betty Davis movie. I can't remember which one. She here? I'm here. She's here. Right there you are. Which Betty Davis movie was it? Well, it was Madame Curie. Was my first well, that was, the, yeah, with uh, Greer Garson. But who, what was the one with Betty Davis? I don't remember. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's only been, what, how many years? But anyway, uh, she, she appeared, Mark Winkler, she appeared in uh, her own film noir where Ann Southern played a murderess, and uh, she was the star of it, and that was Shadow on the Wall. That I remember. Well, there's the child who was, uh, Ann Southern was stalking. And she was in, um, uh, she, she did the Charleston with uh, Charles Coburn in Has Anybody Seen My Gal? Gigi Perot. Um, well, I'm not gonna, 
get off and then come back on. So I, I, you know, I'm going to do my very last song, and I feel I should do it with Mr. Jameson Trotter alone, for all that he's done. This, this, uh, this last song with just us. Thank you, everybody. And I'd like to dedicate this song. Things are changing in my life soon. I'd like to dedicate this song to my LA musical family. Um, you know, I'll listen to some of your CDs that you know that I, you know come out, or some of your past CDs or your present, and I rush right back to my to my own CD and listen to it and go, okay, I'm good too. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you all for being so intimidating. Your talent is incredible. Thank you for being inspiring. Thank you for your friendship and your support. And although I'm taking off, um, we won't lose each other, especially with me on Facebook. <laughs> You'll never lose me. Anyway, I want to thank you, my musical family, and this is for you guys. Okay. Here we go. I've been so many places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I've made some bad rhymes. I've acted out my life in stages with 10,000 people watching but we're alone now and I'm singing this song for you I know your image of me is what I hope to be I've treated you unkindly Darling, can't you see? There's no one more important to me. So, baby, please see through me. Because we're alone now. I'm singing this song for you. You taught me precious secrets of a truth withholding nothing. You came out in front, and I was hiding. Now I'm so much better, and if my words don't come together, listen to my melody, cause my love is in there. I love you in a place where there's no space, no time. I love you for my life. You're a friend of mine. And when my life is over, remember when we were together. We're alone now. Sing this song for you. You were alone now, and I'm singing this song. I'm singing this song for you. Good night, and thank you.